What's up, guys? It's Derek here. We started a lot with a tier. Just got a bunch of gold. 11 early gold start means that we can buy out all of our shops. We're going to be stuck with only a few choices. Already seeing Pantheon, Pair, plus Solution, so maybe some kind of Infinity Team opener. But we'll see. This person had a Kaisa already. Scary. Pantheon, Pair over here. Shen. It looks like the Infinity Team angle isn't a bit contested, but we could always just play it for the early game and pivot out. Don't have to necessarily hard commit to it. We could also make gold here. If I get three gold here, I'm down to make ten. I'm not that attached to these units. Okay, chain vest. Could be protectors. I don't know if I'm in love with protectors vow, but it's it's not bad. We have Ezreal Kale here. Probably hold you on board for now. Ezreal's also a quick draw. These are the units I'm most interested in holding, but I mean, I guess I get to hold everything. Who do I buy between Lulu and Silas? Probably Lulu, right? With the heart. Do I want to sell anything for Silas? Maybe Ash? I don't know. Maybe that could be Sure Shot early. Rod. Okay. Probably want to play something more AP. I think I don't care about holding Silas early, but maybe I'll get punished for it. You never know. I'm just going to hold all this. Not going to pre level. Scope True Two's Thrill. I'm a True Two's fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of down for just truest to us. I mean, you go scoped. I think I'm just take true twos. And oh, we have Ash too. Not bad. Uh, I mean, let's see what we got first. Malphite and Wukong. Okay. I don't have a mascot. That's Ash too. Play this. Um, and what do I want to add here, basically? I don't really need Wukong 3. Can I just chill for a round? I don't have a Nasus. I don't know, leveling allows me access to other mascots, though. My only real slam here is Protectors. It seems pretty good on a gnarly Malphite, too. So I think I'll go for that. Probably should have leveled this round. I just, like, literally, what am I putting in? It doesn't feel like there's anything good to play here. Best case scenario, we win without leveling, but... Not guaranteed. Good Wukong ult, my god. Okay. Um, probably want to hold on to... This... Maybe not GP. Probably Renekton. Probably you. A lot of pairs. If we hit more two stars, we can just level and play the best built diff board of all time, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Nice to see you playing built diff, yeah. Well, not too bad. If you ever get like, no, Lisa doesn't even, like, we don't actually have a brawler in. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna connect these traits, to be honest. We have, um, we sold our GP. Not like we can get supers in. You know, with the early Malphite, too, maybe we could have thought about something supers like, but eh. Not that crazy about it. Okay, at least we got a lot of upgrades. But yeah, I don't even. Wait, we have Underground. I'm stupid. We should probably just be playing Underground here. I haven't had a chance to play new Underground uh, since the nerfs to it, but I think it's very good if you can buy time, like if you don't go for one of the early cash outs. Yeah, no, I, I saw the vibe too late, but yeah, I should definitely just be playing underground here. And then I can even make gold using this stuff. And I can still play it plus Malphite at four, which is, I mean, this is what our board should have been this round. I don't know why. I'm such an underground hater. I just like don't even look at these units. Okay, so yeah, I, I think this is fine. Let me just play this as our opener. And then, I don't know. It feels uh, bad to sell all these two stars, so I don't really want to do that. But I mean, we'd prefer like Renekton too over this stuff. Probably not Ash. I need to choose what I want to hold. I could also pre-level, but I think I'm more interested in just making as much gold as possible. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a hook for a second. Okay, this is it. We took one round too long to get there, but it's all good. We have this rod. It could just be Gunblade, say completely flexible could start building to something AP and just slam like a JG on Ezreal. I don't hate it. But yeah, this is like a decent board. I kill maybe two here. 
One more Malphite cast, we could kill three. This is a real unit, right? Wait, we're actually winning, I think. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we win with Underground. Yo, what's up, Laywild? We did indeed win. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna hold on to this stuff for now. The Nasus we could hold, but awkward to get it in. Maybe you could just go in this slot. I don't know, I'd probably play one of these instead. I mean, ideally we hit like a Sona. Is there a Sona on Carousel actually? No, there's not. Rod. I think I'm just gonna go like this. JG plus tier. Play an AP angle out of Underground. What rank are you usually hitting each set? Uh, I have her like GM challenger. Like usually. Um. <laughs> I high GM uh, or like low challenger. You can just level for the Vex and item carry her. That's impressive, thank you. you. Might as well. It's a good mascot to play. She's a good item holder. And like, I'm actually not that mad about like winning the next few rounds now if we do. So, that's fine. Play you. How expensive is our bench? I'll just make 20 here. Just forget about the Ezreal pair. If we lose this round, I'm kind of down for that. Yeah, this is 20 gold. We want it. I think the Vex will do a decent job of carrying this item. That theory right now can't seem to get out. I think at that level, it's all about just like your... Like most people call them fundamentals. Like when you're rolling, uh, when you're leveling, how you're managing your econ, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know, when I first started playing TFT, and yeah, I do think I will just... Send it, make 20 here. When I first started playing TFT, um, and a little bit into, like, when I was really starting to grind the game, I was like, I just need to find, like, one, like, ooh. I just need to find one comp that'll start to, like, carry me, you know? Like, oh, if I just have this one broken comp, that'll get me. This is this. Who is a heart. Maybe I actually care more about you. It could, be, it could actually just be... I haven't got a chance to actually play around Viego that much. We should definitely check admin. Um. Okay, I guess I'll take this, but none of them are that crazy if I want to play like a Viego angle. I'm Adam's here. But yeah, like, I think at that level, it's really actually not about like, oh, finding this super broken comp and making it work. It's more about just like, Figuring out how to play the game, what, how how you should play the game, regardless of what comp you're playing. Oh, what a good loss for us, by the way. This is really nice. Maybe I'll just hold you over Lee. I mean, I guess I could hold. I mean, LeBlanc's like a decent end though. I think I'm just gonna hold this. I could be convinced that that's wrong. Okay, now we have these pairs, and I just want to make gold. We're definitely not like committed to any kind of Viego line. Just focus on one until you master it. Yeah. Would you say it's good to kind of master three different comps or try to be more flex? I think when you're just starting out, like around your level, it's really good to just focus on like one or two comps and like get to know them really, really well. Because if you, it, it just simplifies the game so much if you just focus on like one comp or two comps. What is this? Spat. Art emblem, Ox Force emblem maybe for my Viego game. I really wanna hold this Viego. Not make income. Admin spat. Let's just hold all this stuff for a round. That is Ox Force emblem. Which I'm kinda down for. Yo, what's up, main? Did y'all? How's it going? How's it going? We have uh what a weird shop. God. Okay, our admin was on kill. I don't think it's supposed to be admin spat. I think we're gonna chill, level up for this. Uh, we also have the Annie, which is good. So we can actually get to four Ox Force pretty early. Yeah, I think that's my game plan. You can't force comps usually, right? Ah, you can you can force comps, like, more than you'd think, I would say. I think forcing comps is not, like, easy, but, like, you can definitely do it. And especially when you're, like, learning the game, just saying, like, okay, I'm always going to buy these Duelist units early, like, I'm always going to buy the Gangplanks and the Kales, and then I'm always going to buy, like, Nylos and stuff, and I'm going to try to play Vertical Duelists, like, six or eight Duelists. 
like just having that game plan going in makes the game so much easier. I would say. But like once you get better at the game, you do sort of, sort of have to start branching out and learning new comps or else you'll uh, not be able to play the strongest version of your your board basically the whole game. Portable Forge are prep here. I don't really want salvage bin. I guess I could use it to make like spats later. Because I could just prep. I could just prep this Viego and boom. I have a prep Viego. I just, oh, man, I haven't played enough of new Viego. I'm down to just play Viego this game. Get a sense for how he plays. Um, with like, art now. I don't know. I don't really, I, I, I can prep a decent bit here. We're going to continue the heist. Uh, ooh, another Annie. So now we could play Annie. I don't hate it. We can just prep our entire board. I'm down to do this. And then I think I'll just make Oxforce Emblem on you. I don't think like anyone has Oxforce in. I'm down to slam this. This can be Ionic Spark. Or maybe even Q-Cone. And the prep will help with the JG value. Gives us more raw AP. Yeah, that's a good spot. But yeah, I haven't seen too many people actually playing around Viego post, like, Viego changes post the mid-set. So, curious to see how this game goes. Come on, we can kill one more. There's 74 HP here. Four unit loss. I mean, we're doing at least three heist. Viego feels pretty nice with heart backline. I mean, this game I'm thinking more like just straight up Viego carry. I don't know how that's going to do. Uh, we kind of want to play Sona the whole game, now that I think about it. We can hold you, actually. Probably should help both. Uh, like, I don't know, this is kind of hard. But, I mean, how could I turn this down? It's just like, I might need to find a replacement Sona. Which will feel a little bad. I don't need this stuff. If I win, I'll still kill if I lose, I'll still Ez. I mean, this makes my board a lot stronger. I do want to definitely full prep the Viego. I can prep you on Wolves and then against Early and Doom. The biggest issue is the Sona because I want to move items to V. I mean, I could just do Sona carry. Gold, gold. Could definitely be just Hero Augment third into Power Cord. The problem is, I guess either way, I could build Ionic. Ionic works in Sona carry or Viego carry, but I'm a little bit afraid, like, you know, if I if I go and make blue buff here, I'm committing to Sona carry, which I don't know. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, I guess. It might even be the best version of the board. Okay, let's sell you. I'll also see what we can get off carousel. But yeah, it could just be like Viego damage slash frontline. What about cash out? You're supposed to go for after mid set changes. Uh, I don't know. This is actually my first time playing underground after the mid set, but I know they like nerfed the lower payout. So ideally, you greed for. Later ones, but ideally you greed is a very suspect statement. Okay, I'm kind of down to just commit to the Sona carry here. With, I, like, it's a four cost blue buff versus, like, this is a two cost Ionic. But the Ionic is more flex. But I I made a judgment call. I'm sticking with it. And then we'll just, we'll play for Ox Force as a frontline. Viego can still item hold Ionic, but we're just going to play around the Sona and uh, see how it goes. How many hearts are we going to play this game? Because we're obviously playing two. The question is, are we ever playing more than that? Uh, also, do we want to play this ASOL? Because, like, this is an ASOL that we can prep. We want to play around heart more than we want to play around spell slinger. Probably just going to play these two spell slingers. Also, our admin isn't that great. I mean, we could definitely play Lee Sin in the late game Syndra. I guess we're only going to play two for a while. Once we find Syndra, maybe we could play three, but then, like, or we can maybe we could play four, but the issue is then we'd be holding the lease in the entire time. Maybe we'll just play two. And just put in like good units. I'm not against that either. Okay. This board should be pretty good. Not saying that we're gonna win every fight, because we do have four underground in, but we'll win some amount of fights. Uh, we actually don't want to win that much because, you know, four heist versus three heist, actually no diff if you're winning. So I'd actually prefer to get some like I would love to somehow Honestly, I mean, this Remus is so tanky. Yeah, we're actually definitely going to lose this fight. Maybe we can kill it, though. Oh, what a good ult out of Sona. Okay, I'm just going to sell you. I don't care that much. I mean, maybe we could... Is there a reason to play Garen this game? I mean, I'm cutting Ez later. Might as well hold it. It's just like if we see an Ez in shop. They didn't Cleaver. It's not bad. 
Uh, but I think I'll go for one more. We're 58 HP. We can definitely continue. We also have Viego fully prepped at this point. I think we could always do something like this, but I think I want to keep the four ox in. Or the four uh, underground in. I'll sell you if I have to, so I'm not committed to the Scarin. Oh, what the fuck? I see on one side there's like a Warwick being hackered to the backline, and on the other side there's a Jax being hackered. The Jax moved at least. That's good news. I mean, honestly, the Vi fits pretty decently into just the comp with like Alistar and like potentially Lee Sin. They could play underground for a while while still having a decent board. We're killing a lot here. This is great. Imagine. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of scared that we win this, but I think we can't kill this uh, Jax in time. Yeah, she's just going to heal here. Plus 420 pot. And then one more ult to kill this. The stun gun. Okay, one more damage ult. Aww. I mean, still three loss is good, maybe. Yeah, three and loss is still good. Hold this. Okay. Need to prep stuff. There's a Sona. There's also a Fiora. You need to be prepped. You need to be prepped. Probably you need to be prepped. You can go in. You can go in. Oh, I should have been playing this other buy the whole time, by the way. I'm done. I guess this is fine. Prep all this stuff. Sometimes you get a Mega Castor, it makes it hard to kind of force. Yeah. I feel like that's one of the. The harder points in like forcing is that yeah sometimes just the whole lobby is going to contest you or a few people are and then it's rough it's gonna be q cone but ideally i want the cloak to be ionic so i don't really want to make q cone here another leblanc i mean leblanc 2 is not bad by any means yeah i mean i might as well play it um i'd probably rather play warwick over camille uh, yeah, I do need to figure out what the heck my board's supposed to be. I think this guy's probably coming out. Uh, Annie definitely needs to be in. Oh, I don't need you. I think I'll be playing Ox Force. Maybe I'll just do this. I know I say that even though I'm not, actually. Actress about Annie is probably fine. I don't really need Camille. I really, yeah, I want to get this Fiora in. But yeah, I don't really want to make Q-Cone here, because, like, Anic Spark is kind of important. We got a bunch of synergies in right before Hero Augment, which means we're always going to see some of these, but... I mean, to be fair, boom, 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 these are all Zona ones. There's also, like, Diego ones that are pretty good. The Admin's probably the worst thing to be playing here before Hero Aug. Hurry up, new set, I need to get off the Rift before losing mind. You could just play PV. Right, hold a Wukong for fun, why not? No hero augment lasts, okay. I'm I'm fine with that. Cyber, like a cyber would be really good here, just probably not this one. I'm kinda down to roll for another one. Components is actually, like, in my opinion, not that insane here. Yeah, like Cyber Shell, if the lobby's like any uh AD, like seems pretty good. There's a duelist player, there's this Belveth player, there is this player who's part... It's really not that AD heavy of a lobby, but but this board's going to be a decent amount of AD damage. It's probably our best bet. I think so. We're going to get so many components off of Underground. Push out next round. Wait, two. Level up here. Play around potentially Sona 3. I don't know. I could just keep rolling on 7 forever, but I feel like our spike is pretty big. I mean, this can come out, honestly, and this can come out. I'm sort of just playing what I hit here, which is good TFT, but like, I do at some point need to get to a more ideal version of this board. But I mean, we're almost definitely taking this cash out here, just because we need to start actually spiking our board. Oh, the heal there is not ideal. Okay, at least we killed one. 16 a loss isn't great, though. 36. I mean, we can honestly just level this round, depending on if we get gold or not. I, don't think our, I still don't think our board's like bad by any means, but it's not like stomping. But Kasha will hopefully help. Best dance, Hodge. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Uh, and this can just go on Diego, I guess. And some gold. Question is does the Hodge want to go here or should I just put it on Sona? Doesn't seem great on Sona. Double healing on Diego is a little bit awkward, but I think I would probably prefer that. 
this Defiance, Hodge, Ionic here, and then this tier becomes... I don't really want Archangels, but yeah, I don't really... I mean, it, it's Hodge JG, so maybe you can make the argument that's best. Also, I didn't have time to really consider leveling, but I'm so poor. I'm pretty sure I just chill for one more round and then level. We could take Underground out this round for sure and play 4 Ox Force. Yeah, that's the play. Ezreal should be out. Vi can stay, maybe. Well, not the worst loss. Maybe by some... some luck, somehow, we could win this fight. But it's... Ah! Go off Ez? Go off Sona? I mean, this fight would be huge for my ability to not be dead. Okay. I mean, still not a bad loss. I guess I'll hold you. Maybe I could hold you as well, but I don't want to get too fancy with it. We'll get dizzy. I think my best bet here is just taking this rod and building Ionic. Like, having some kind of MR shred is going to be really nice. Okay. Out. Potentially out. We could play Force Spell Singer if we high roll a Janna. There's a lot to be done. There's a Viego with Giant Spell, but I don't know. I don't. I think it's fine to not take that Viego. But. I should consider it maybe a little bit higher. I'm pretty sure it always has to be this. There's the Nico if I want it. But yeah, I, I think leveling here just spikes my board. Oh. Okay, it's a it's a Nico game. Fuck this Sony unit. Uh I have a lot more rolling I need to do then. Uh, and you can definitely come in. Um Another one of you. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. But yeah, definitely this, this, this. I should have got four Ox Force in here over Vi. Yeah. Probably don't need Gnar, but I like I could theoretically hold him, but I don't want to. Still have the Sonon bench here, which should probably come in over like TF maybe. Okay, so it ends up just being a Nico game with Ox Force frontline, which I mean I'm down for. Nice. Oh, we healed so much off admin. Wait, yeah, we have admin in. Yeah. It works decent front line, but I don't know. The issue here is Nico's on prepped. Not prepped at all. I don't think I care about like I think this admin is not that good. I'm pretty sure Warwick's gonna come out. Echo 2 is huge. But once again, he's only two prepped. We're actually losing a lot of prep value this game. All right, and then this Fiora could just be like this, I think. And then the question is, is Vi better than Warwick? This is better here. Oh, this is Duelist, huh? That's a slightly better unit. Prepping you. Oh, prep this one, please. So I can make it easier on myself. Okay, and then I don't know what this tier becomes. I, I want it to be a last item. Oh, shit. Maybe the raid yogurt. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hope you had a good stream. Got any new techs? Play any, play any crazy comps today? I didn't get to watch that much of your stream. I had it on a little bit in the background today when I was working. Yo, what's up, Becca? You changed your name. I was, I was, um, I was in Yogurt's stream lurking, and I was like, what the heck? Oh, Hacker Nar. Oh, right. I saw you like, uh, I saw you theory crafting Hacker Nar. I've I've been like kind of destroyed by some some hacker nars, so I could definitely believe that it good. Okay, you need to be prepped. You need to be prepped. This is being prepped. I can put you and I can put you and you need to be prepped. I think I'm cutting Warwick. I need to prep Annie. Looks like I think this is fine. We could honestly prep you too. Hacker nar, but also if you hit Morg three, you hacker Morg instead. Right. If you hit Morg. Okay, interesting. Yo, thank you for the gifted, Billy Square. I appreciate it. Well, that sounds interesting. Here becomes Heart Spat for Nico because I definitely get a spat here. Oh, I'm down. Oh, Glove. Uh, oh, like if I were to go. Okay, I think I'm gonna sell this. If I were to go JG. Oh, wait, I have JG, so it's just Guard Breaker. Okay. Uh, I should probably like actually. Let's do the board first. Um. There's the Spell Slinger, and then I need Annie back in. Okay, that's the board that I have. I kind of like Guard Breaker. Uh, I mean, I like Guard Breaker a lot. Could be GS, I guess. GS 
Uh, GS Redemption isn't bad either. Maybe it's just GS Redemption. I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to do this. But ideally, I would scout the lobby and see how much um, shielding there actually is. And also, I should probably roll more here, but like... Okay, honestly... Maybe I should have just told... Like, I want to take this Warwick out. Get more Aegis in, probably. Where's my front line? I need Viego, too. I need a roll here. I mean, I don't know. I have... I have Nico 2, Echo 2. Like, I almost think I get away with... Oh, my God. Nico's just dead. But I'm too low to not roll here, I think, is the main point. And also, I have this pair. I don't know. There's so much I can hit. Okay, that's good. Uh, Alistar. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, it's so awkward, actually. Um. This is better than Duel- Fuck Duelist, man! I don't know. I'm getting baited by having Duelist in. Who cares? Just give me Aegis. Okay, I got it. Can you still call me Violet if you're more comfortable with that? I already said you knew someone with the same name. It's all good. Me and her don't talk anymore. No, but I- <laughs> not, not for- it, But yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I mean, it seems like uh, your, your rebrand points more towards- um, Calling you Becca, so mm -hmm. I'm down. Biggest tips we're trying to get from Down to Masters. Slam items, aggressively make econ, uh, learn one to two comps really in depth. Um, I guess I could just wait for this guy to be prepped. That seems insane. I like this better. And then I got Ox Force Echo, which seems like 16 times better. my Sona there. Harden, but it's a Sona one. I don't really like that. I'm gonna die. I'm so low. Oxford Battle on Carousel, maybe? It's low-key because my alt Twitter is getting more views, so I thought I'd add Becca to my Twitch. Yo. Hog. Good branding decision. That's what it's all about. I need the Ego too. He's holding three items. I don't die here. 16 HP? Surely I don't die from 16. Keep living for like 10 years, Viego. Also, this Ox Force Echo is kind of doing work. Okay. I was definitely trolling by not moving this Ox Force bat over. Man, this TFT game is too hard. How does anyone play this shit? I, I feel like every time I play TFT, I make like 50,000 mistakes. Like, I don't get it. This? Oh, Spellslinger's fat? I'm sorry. Your cone seems kind of lit, actually. You give it to Viego, and I can give it to 16 units. I'm from gold 2 to diamond 3 this set. Your, your content 1000% helped me out. Yo, congrats on the climb. That's awesome. I'm happy I could help. This TFT game smoke. That's what I'm saying. It's too hard. Like, can they make it easier? Can they just take, like, the number of decisions in this game and cut it in, like, a third? That'd make things so much easier. Okay, am I gonna get destroyed for clumping? Versus these people, not really. Honestly, all good. It's a full clump angle. Do I have anything that's fully prepped that, like, isn't... Okay, what is this? Like an echo item? Oh, there's no echo items here. I guess I could take uh I could take Trout. I have a I have a Ionic, I don't need. Wow, that was really close. I almost didn't put that down time. I just wanted to see their whole board. Okay. Things I want for set nine of TFT. All the units to spawn in at the same time so I can know what I'm shrouding. Any agreeers? Also I'm just gonna sell the snake econ, I think. Like please, I just wanna, I just wanna be able to put the shroud down with full information. No double Q cone. I need, I need to balance my front line and back line, right? Does Vio do damage to that renegade? Is doing twenty four hundred here. I mean, I'm kind of using him as like slightly front line. 
Like, I'm mostly using the four ox forces front line here. Um, yeah, no, there's no, there's nothing to add there. That's the end of the sentence. That was me insane. Why doesn't it spawn at once? It's like, like surely it's just because of how the game is programmed. Like they, there's something where like they can't just spawn them all in at once. They have to like spawn them in uh, procedurally generated uh, dungeons, make for more fun and more uh, enjoyment of the game. But it, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of sus. Okay, we're right side versus the Warwick. Dramatic effect, true. I think Nico here is kind of nice because he's always like in the same region as my Nico. Like having him here and Nico, uh, big ult going there is nice. Wait, how does Nico's all work? Okay, yeah, the last one does more damage. I was like, I thought that, and then for a second I'm like, wait, am I crazy? Does it not work that way? Okay, this board kind of slaps. Once I... Wait. Wait. Okay, yeah, this board slaps. What am I leveling for? I mean, like, Sona can... Once I hit Sona 2, Sona over LeBlanc. Prep you. Prep you. You're actually fully prepped. Put in these two guys for fun. Prepping the whole damn squad. I don't have anything to put in. I can put in Nunu or just a five cost. Warwick almost ate everything. Yeah, but we knew. We knew we were chilling. After 10,000 years, we finally have three prep stacks on our Nico. How close am I going to going 9? 64? I have to wait until 6 2, huh? And then I can go 9 with like 3 gold. I still want to Echo Item. Ooh, wait. I have no healing reduction, so Morales is kind of nice. I just have literally no one to hold it. Echo? But I feel like healing reduction is pretty necessary, so I guess I'm just going to Morello my Echo. I could, uh, maybe I could. Is Morello better on a. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Morello. I don't really want Morello Vigo. The question is. Do I want a Morello, um... I can get Morello you or you. I feel like it's probably not that bad on Fiddle. I mean, did I say Fiddle? On uh, this guy? I don't know how big the AoE is. I guess let's watch. Pew pew pew. It's not that big. I, I repeat, it is not that big. All good. I mean, it's damage. Love and summer cyber value? Oh, you are definitely right. I got two lost and all my stuff, but it should definitely be sitting on, like, ooh, Alistar. Yeah, I'm, I'm legit trolling. I am down 40 armor and 120 HP. I didn't even know if TF had, TF had any AoE at all. His red card is AoE, right? Yeah. The final card is. Another Echo. But yeah, this should definitely be on like Vi or someone. Man, I would love to add Sejuani to this board. That's actually like not that bad of an ad. Oh. Like, I'm pretty sure just doing this is better. It seems fine to me. So we can roll for Alistar too. Is there even a way to fit that guy in? Okay, they didn't swap. Um, we go in Nunu actually. Yeah, that's best. Why not? Okay, because now we get hard off Sona. Um, I guess eventually maybe we get Jana in. Eh. I mean, Jana's so good. Having the having the Morello here is good. Okay, nice. I miss Sedge, Me too. There's um, there's like the fake. Mort Dog Twitter account. It's like a parody account. And one of his most recent tweets was just like, oh shit, we didn't put Sedge in the set? I totally I thought we had Sedge in the set. <laughs> Which is kinda how I felt playing early PV. I was like, wait a minute, there's no Sedge? Why'd they take Sedge out? Okay, I think this is just our board. Four Ox Force, four Spell Slinger. I guess theoretically this can come out for Janna. Oh yeah, that's fine. But oh. Indra? Indra. Like, how do you even fit in Cinder onto this board? I cut you. 
I don't really gain anything synergies wise. I just gain like a really good unit. Okay, I'll prep you for now. I'm pretty sure there has to be a way to fit Syndra in. Pretty sure I have a, a good. We can even Vi. He's just Aegis. The Aegis is kind of good into a lot of these boards. Also, we got Sephard. Laser feels so weird with two one cost three four five six. Yeah, it feels, it's the weirdest crate they've ever designed. I feel like okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but it's very strange. I agree with that statement. All right, go my front line whose health bars I can't see. I think they're actually doing work. I kind of thought for a second that we were losing this fight because I can't see any of my unit's health bars, but they're actually stomping. Okay, um, good spot. I could die at any moment. At least that's true of all things. Ooh. I'll take that. I'll take a heart spat Syndra. Heart spat my TF, I guess. I guess that's my best. Like, ideally, you don't really want to heart spat TF, right? Because his mana lock is so long. But I don't really have anyone better. And then this spy is just going to come out. And we're going to drop out of Aegis. Like, the last board I fought, it's really not that much magic damage. Um. Yeah, let's just do this. Man, I wish I could hard spat Viego. I guess hard spat here is fine. Um, ooh, that's really good. Do I want to cut this for Janna? Not really. It's not enough money. It's fine to throw this stuff in. I do want to hold the Janna after fight. I should definitely move, but I'm too slow. Your voice is really relaxing. Good background noise. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Well, oh, we are. I need Viego to ult. I need him to ult, like, here. Because if this, like, walks to, straight to backline, that's bad news. Honestly, Oxforce frontline is taking so long. This is nerfed Oxforce, by the way. I guess I understand why they nerfed it. Because I feel like this Annie 2 is living for 10,000 years. Okay. Looks good. Let, uh, let me buy the Janna. Don't cutscene me out of buying the Janna, alright? Okay, you gotta have high APM for that play. Oh, Nunu too. Alright. What's wrong with that? Okay, we'll just hold this bench. Imagine if they took out Ash instead of Senna. Actually, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe I just... I mean, I don't know. The Q-Con value is not that. Um... Okay, I don't know what the fuck this is. We're going we're gonna to get 10-0'd here. We're 16 HP. I just wanted to dodge Zephyr. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, God. The hacker Nunu. Okay, at least he's just going straight to my front line. What did we throw in? We should just sell this Alistar. We need to throw in high quality targets. This is probably like the last fight. Good one, Viego. Oh, my board. Nice. All right. Absolute tuber. If you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Twitch and all my other links down below. Thank you. Thank you.